Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. In this Photoshop tutorial, we will be sharing with you how you can use Photoshop to create a cloud Photoshop brush from a photo of some clouds. So this is a free clouds texture which we've downloaded from Creative Nerds. And what we're going to do is turn this into a Photoshop brush. So you want to start off by selecting Image Adjustments. And what we're going to do is select black and white. And what we're going to do is just remove all of the blue from the image. So turn that right down. And then you'll notice that the blue has been replaced with black. So that's the result we're looking for. So we're then going to select OK. And then we're going to go into go to image adjustments and press invert. Or you can do control I or command I if you're on a Mac just to invert the colors. So now it becomes white and black. From there, we want to head over to Edit, select Define Brush Preset, and we're just going to give the brush a name. So we're just going to call it Cloud Brush, for example, and then select OK. And then we're just going to create a new document so we can test our Photoshop brush and just check out we're happy with the results. So new document, 1000 by 1000 pixels. We're going to grab the rectangle tool and we're just going to draw out a rectangle in the middle of the canvas. Perfect. And then we're going, we're going to create a new layer, move that layer above our square that we've just drawn out. And then we're going to select the brush tool and we'll, we want to ensure that our cloud brush is selected which you can see it's selected. And then we're going to change the color of the brush to be white to make it more of an authentic cloud brush effect. And then we're going to make the brush tip a little bit smaller so we can see it within the canvas. When we're happy, there you go. So we've created a cloud Photoshop brush in a matter of seconds in Photoshop and this is a great effect that you can apply to various in various different ways you can use it for print design digital design it's a great te technique worth learning and knowing how to do thanks for watching and stay tuned to creative nerds for quick tips on how to use Photoshop